Hello guys, it's Lee here. Welcome back to another video. In this one is a little bit different. It's kind of a unplanned and unscripted, not that I generally use scripts anyway. Um, but this one I basically need to set up a factum on it uh, because I recently noticed that Coinifier has gone offline. I'm sure I checked it at some point, but anyway, I need a way of actually storing my factum um, tokens. Um, so what I thought I'd do is actually set up a Factum wallet and then I can import my Coinifier um, word phrase and then from there and then from there I can um, yeah, access those Factum tokens and keep them secure on, on my own sort of um, system. So I thought this might be useful for you guys so um, just as I'm doing it, like I say I'm doing it for the first time I don't really know the actual process so it might be a little bit uh, rough and raw around the edges but I just thought I'd take you through the experience with me and um, hopefully this will be useful uh, for you. So the website that I'm currently on is this uh, factum slash devs uh, dot docs. Um, also one of my neighbors is doing some construction which is really annoying but we'll just have to uh, continue on regardless. Okay so let's uh, continue on. So the first thing that we have to do is install the actual binaries. So what I'm going to do is there is a command line client and then there's also a factum GUI as well. So we need to install the uh, command line version first. I'm on Windows 10. So let's just have a look down to where we need to uh, install the Windows. Okay, I think we need to go to the uh, GitHub first. Um, and then we can go back down and then actually go to the Windows installation. Okay, so there's just a factum install.msi. I guess that's what we need. Let's just save that. And I'm just going to run that from our downloads folder. Uh, let's just continue on with a normal installation it looks like. Okay, that's completed. Oh, wrong page. Okay, so download the Factum MSI, install it to C drive, run the program, we've already done that. Done that, done that, done that. Okay, so then we um Okay, I've got it working, so I'll just try that again. So I just closed everything and then reopened this Factum MD. Just move that down second and then the wallet app um, and then yeah the browser sort of um, opened to local host at port 8096 and then this is the actual kind of wallet application uh, GUI interface so um, there's not as much as I thought in there there's a few obviously uh, ways to send and receive it appears well, that's a bit of a bit of a weird interface it all looks a little bit um, bit naff if I'm honest but there is a few different options so further down we've got the option to import from a private key and that's actually one of the things that I wanted to do so uh, I think what I'll do first is a little bit more reading and then I will kind of uh, um, see if I can import my key because at the moment I don't really want to import it and then not have access to it or anything like that. So I just want to take a little bit more time on this and and um, confirm exactly what the process is. Okay, so just doing a little bit more reading um, about importing the actual keys using the command line in interface. And um, although we've got the actual uh, Factum Wallet GUI, um, I don't know, I think I'm just going to work with the actual command line interface. I think it'll probably just be a bit more are reliable and stable um, and hopefully better tested. So I'll just read in what I need to do. So we need to have the Factum MD running and also the FCT wallet running. 
and then we need to open up a command window and then we're going to be using um, actually let's leave those other ones running so we can see any interactions with them um, but we're going to be working with this window here uh, I think that's that for now let's have another look okay so this is what we've got just reading through and sorry it's a bit quiet there um, obviously I'm just uh, reading um, kind of to myself so we can use our 12 words master passphrase from Coinify to import your Coinify balance into your local factoid wallet so I think this is what I need to be doing um, so I should have multiple addresses but I'm not too sure let's just I think I'm going to create just a new fresh uh, address and then I'm going to import a secondary address I think that's what I'm going to do okay so that's my new factum address let's get a notepad up here Okay, so I'm a little bit confused because I'm not too sure. So if this is my address, how, how do I get the actual private key for this um, address? That's a bit weird. Okay, so let's just um, continue on. Um, let me just try another command here. I just want to see balances because I just want to sh see what... Um, what accounts are kind of listed within this wallet you can see this program is completely going um, a bit crazy I don't know if it's like scanning through all of the blocks to kind of confirm the balance or or what the deal is with that Okay, that's completed now. Okay, so we've got factored one, the address, balance is zero, which is kind of what we expected. But, so I'm just gonna read up on the actual transaction process now. Okay, so I've just been doing a little bit more reading and it seems that with this particular kind of wallet uh, interface, you've got basically your public um, address and the actual um, pass keys are stored in the wallet um, file itself. So there's no um, kind of like password protection or authentication if you're using it to send transactions. Um, so yeah, basically it's a public address and the actual private address is stored in the actual wallet database. So I need to back that up at some point um, afterwards. Uh, so yeah, there's no kind of um, authentication on these kind of uh, transactions. Um, so anyway, what I'm going to try and do now is I've just uh, was reading as well about sort of uh, importing the address, which is what I really wanted to do to so I can import my um, Coinify balance um, into the actual local wallet, and then from there I can obviously interact and send transactions uh, with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, be using this command kind of here, and then I'm going to create an address factoid two, and then I've got my sort of um, Coinify password phrase and then hopefully I can uh, import that. So I'm going to do this now. Um, let's uh, import this. Okay, so I've run that command now and it's gave me a new address. So I've got factoid2 and then I've got this address here. I've just kind of uh, pasted it. Um, by the way, this is kind of the command line that I used. Um, obviously, I've just removed my secret password phrase um, because obviously I don't want to share that with you guys and have my coins go missing. Um, so Yes, I now it looks like I have that imported. So now I'm going to try and do the actual um, uh, balance um, function again. So this time it should kind of uh, scan through the actual blockchain and show us the balances. Uh, factored one should be zero because it's the new general address that I created. And then factored two should have a balance in there 
um, hopefully, and then that way I can use that to kind of then send an outgoing transaction and um, all will be good. So let's uh, run this again. Aha, uh, uh -huh. God, that scared me just for a just for a second there. So we've got factoid two, we've got the address, and then there's just on the end there is a six and then zero zero. So yeah, six hundred tokens, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's super cool because. To be honest, um, I was a little bit concerned and I thought I might have actually lost those uh, tokens forever. But now they're actually stored in my local uh, wallet. And then from here, I can use this to sort of um, send transactions and stuff. So super pleased about that. And um, yeah, that is about it. So I'm quite happy with this. I've actually uh, made some progress. Uh, one other thing is a note self just on the left hand side of the FCT wallet. Um, I can see it actually posted my secret passphrase. Um, I thought we only actually had it in the command window, but I can also see part of it in this uh, left-hand side up here. So I just need to note to self to um, um, tuck that away, hide that away. Um, okay, guys. So hopefully you found this uh, useful. Um, if you're, you know, importing or working with your own Factum uh, wallets and uh, importing your coins and stuff, it might be useful for you. Like I say, it's a bit uh, rough and ready, and just kind of my experience with it. So, but maybe it's useful for you guys. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video.